Overview of developmental stages. Development. We all know that it is a continuous and a lifelong process. Throughout our lifetime, we experience drastic changes and big milestones. From the day we are born, we are constantly learning. We are growing and developing. As complex beings, it is difficult to summarize the human development into clear-cut stages. The developmental psychologist has developed various theories for a better understanding of the developmental stages. In this video, we will be seeing various stages of our development. The various stages of life and why understanding them, the stages, can help your personal development. We will look into the details. Before going to the details, please remember to subscribe the channel. Thank you. Developmental milestones. Milestones are things a child can do by a certain age. That is, a child is expected to do certain things at certain age. For example, a baby by the age of 12 months. Under the physical development, the baby starts sitting and standing without any help. Sometimes the baby may take few steps without holding anything as support and may walk while holding furniture or sidestep around the furniture. So, at every stage of development, each child is expected to undergo some physical development along with that social, emotional and cognitive development also take place. Most children develop skills and abilities in roughly the same order. The order will be same, but the time frame involved won't be exact. That is, some babies will walk early while some babies will walk on a later time. Maybe a few months earlier or maybe a few months later. So, the abilities that the child develop will be, the order will be same, but the time frame will be different. It varies from child to child. The babies, toddlers and school age children develop new skill and abilities in a steady progression as they get older. So, developmental milestones are stages of a child's growth and these milestones serve as checkpoints for parents, healthcare providers and teachers. A child's physical growth and social and emotional development are considered as the developmental milestones. So, the physical growth, the social and emotional development, these are considered as the developmental milestones. Strong parent-child bond, then good nutrition, adequate sleep, a safe and nurturing environment at home and school. All these things will help ensure that the child have the best chance of developing as they should. The developmental milestones are important because they assist in the tracking of a child's physical, mental, social and emotional development. Reaching specific developmental milestone is significant because it shows that the child is growing and developing properly. Otherwise, if any developmental delay is found, then we need to consider to consult a healthcare provider. So, developmental milestones are very important to understand the development of the child, that the child is growing and developing properly. Now, let's have a look at the developmental stages. The various stages included in the development are prenatal stage, infancy, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, early adulthood, middle adulthood and older adult. So, these are the various stages. The stages of life are the different phases that all individual pass through 
in a regular lifetime. During each stage, most people will share common interests, actions and behavior. The developmental psychologists often break down the development according to various phases of life. Each of these periods of development represent a time when different milestones are typically achieved. So, in all these stages, developmental milestones are achieved. People may face particular challenges at each point. So, some people can face challenges in the stages, in any of the stages in the development. So, in each stage, a milestone is achieved. Why study the developmental stages? What is the importance of the developmental stages and why we should study this? To gain a better understanding of one's own self-experience, so you will get a better understanding of your own experience. Then to gain knowledge of how social contact impact development. Then to help others understand and contextualize the ups and downs of life. We can help others to understand and contextualize the ups and downs of life. Then to understand how societal change can support the growth and development. So it help gain knowledge of the social context and how the societal change can support the development. Then to become a more effective professional. Then to support the physical and mental health of individuals throughout their lifespan. So by studying the developmental stages, we will get an understanding of our own self-experience. Then we can help others to understand their experience. Then we get a knowledge of the social context. Then how it support the growth and development. Then we will become a good person in our personal life and in our professional life. The physical, mental, social and cognitive development along with the emotional development happens during the developmental stages. The human development is wide reaching and ever changing discipline. Knowledge of human development can be invaluable to people personally as they continue to learn and grow throughout their life. And it also helps professionally as they learn to apply what they have learned to their career. We will study all the different stages of development in the upcoming videos. So please remember to subscribe and share. Thank you and keep smiling.